What's up guys, welcome back to another video and the mystery of the Dome 3 bunker over at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works has finally been revealed. Inside of the bunker you can find a plan for the T-51 Power Armor Nuka Cola paint job. If you guys do remember this was also in Fallout 4 as well over in the Nuka World DLC Nuka Cola bottling plant. And this is the exact same version of that. In my opinion, it's one of the best looking power armor paint jobs in the game. And it's also one of the rarest too. Now there is a bit of a story behind getting inside of the bunker. I was searching around and following leads for hours upon hours and didn't manage to find any keys related to this. So I do want to give full credit to a Reddit user known as Jimbot70. He actually managed to dig up the locations of all of the keys and he's the main reason why we're actually able to piece this all together in this video. So full credit going out to him. Anyway, let's start from the beginning. So this begins over at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. If you head over to the only building at this location, you'll find a terminal inside. Now, if you hack that terminal, a bunch of dome bunker entries will pop up. And if you select dome three, you'll now get your very first lead. You can see that it basically says that the Dome Bunker 3 has been leased to the Nuka Cola Corporation. Now that's our very first clue and the only Nuka Cola building on the map that I know of is the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant. Now if you head inside the Kanawa Nuka Cola plant and make your way through the building all the way up the stairs into the main rooms, on the left, there is a door that you can pick lock. And if you pick lock that door and make your way through again, at the very end of this taste testing area, there is a locker on the ground. Now inside of that locker is the TNT Dome Key 3. So keep that in mind moving forward. But at this point, you know, you need to find the key to unlock it. So around the new Coca-Cola plant, I think on the same floor that you run, uh, in the room just beforehand, inside of one of the metal containers there, you'll find a note. This note reads, Alexis, I hope you can forgive me for this. I know we've had our differences over the years about methodology and R&D, but we've always agreed that marketing is an evil force in the Nuka-Cola world. I can't let them experiment on innocent bystanders, so I've taken the arsenic, mercury and strontium-90 and all the rest of it and gone home to Sutton. Now, the location of Sutton is something to keep in mind here. That is one of the leads that you get from this location. Now, in addition to this, there is another note you can pick up. Again, uh, this is also in one of the rooms on the top floor. And you can find this note sitting on top of the table there. And uh, this note reads, This is a reminder that I will be on vacation with my family in Watoga for the next two weeks. For all marketing and R&D related matters, please contact Pat Walker. So again, from this note, another lead we have here is the location of Watoga. So now we have two locations. We have Sutton and Watoga itself. And I spent hours upon hours trying to follow these leads, search around, see what I could find. And I didn't come up with any of the keys, which is why, again, giving credit to Jimbot70 there. If you head over to Watoga, and stand in the exact location I'm in on the map, you'll find a toolbox with a body next to it on the ground. Now, the toolbox is locked. You need to find a key to enter the toolbox. So to get the key, you need to head to another location. This one is known as Pylon V13. Again, all of this stuff will be shown to you on the map. And if you head here and move a little bit north of the pylon, you'll find a body on the ground with a duffel bag next to it. Inside of that duffel bag is where you can find the toolbox key. And uh, just a side note, there is also a note on top of the rock as well. Uh, this note reads, whoever finds this, this is as far as I could make it on foot. There aren't a lot of supplies in this area and I can't walk much further. Drank some water from a stream and I think it was bad. My family was attacked by one of the research assistants from work. I thought I knew my people, but I guess you never know. She got my son before I managed to put her down. I never wanted to kill anybody and I never wanted to die like this. If you get this note, tell my wife I loved her from Rich Taylor. Pretty damn sad story there from that note. But anyway, you now have the toolbox key. So 
go back over to the toolbox in Watoga. Again, the map location uh, will be on screen. And when you unlock it, you'll now find the key to Clara's box inside. Now that is the Watoga lead covered. We found the keys in Watoga and we now need to head over to Sutton where Clara's house is. So if you go to this location in Sutton, again, I spent hours upon hours searching. I actually did find this location here. But again, I didn't have the key to open the box and that's kind of where I was at with this whole thing until Jimbot found the keys. But if you head to the exact location I'm in, just behind the house, there is a little dog kennel. Now inside of that kennel, you'll find a container with a note sitting next to it. So if you use the key that you just got from the toolbox, you can go ahead and open the container. And that container owns the key to open the locker inside of the nuka cola plant there is also again a note sitting next to it this note reads mom i'm so sorry that my research got you addicted to this swill i'll get revenge on the people in marketing that did this i swear to you i love you and i miss you so much clara this is all adding up to a very very sad story there but Again, using that key that you just got. Yes, this is a goddamn goose chase of just collecting keys here, there, and everywhere. But if you use the key that you just got and use it in the locker in the new Coca-Cola plant, you will now have TNT Dome Key 3. And you can now go ahead and access that in the Black Mountain Ordinance work. So heading over to that location, it's right here on your map. You want to head to exactly where I'm standing because again there is eight different bunkers it can get a little bit confusing um, you can see the road there as well from my screen but if you now head inside you can go ahead and collect everything so inside of here you'll notice a bunch of nuka cola stationary products uh, on the container in front of you is the t51 nuka cola paint job and around the back you can also find two nuka cola unique outfits and i guess that's a bit of a bonus here for this location there's also some Nuka Cola Quantums you can pick up as well, but that's about it. That is how you get inside of the Bunker Dome 3. Uh, that's how you get the Nuka Cola paint job. Uh, if you have T51 power armor, you can simply use any power armor crafting station to apply the paint job to the armor itself. It does cost a few materials to actually craft it, but the materials that it takes are quite easy to find naturally. And that's pretty much it for the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. Both of the bunkers have now been opened. The rest of them are actually inaccessible and I think they'll be added in future updates in the game. I had one idea to actually nuke this location to see if maybe they would then become accessible, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. I think they're going to be there in a future update. If you guys did enjoy this video today, feel free to leave a like down below. Your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. I do have a top 10 unique legendary weapons guide coming out for you guys tomorrow as well. Uh, so make sure you are staying tuned for that. Subscribe if you guys are new around and I will catch you guys in the next video.